breaking news. Weed is legal. Weed stocks are going to 10x my hidden hex. Jeremy Financial Education was correct. Thank you, President Biden, who I can't make fun of because I'm still in the army. Anyway, welcome back to Strongman Personal Finance. My name is Christopher Belly. I'm a certified CPA accountant. I'm a fake Boglehead investor. I'm the author of the book, Stop Being a Broke Loser. It's on Amazon. We got to talk about what happened with weed stocks, bro. So I was on my channel, saw some comments. People said, hey, Strongman, Planet 13, it's up like 40%. I was like, oh God, what happened? And I looked at their financials. I didn't see like any new financial statements come out. And then I stumbled across a an action that President Biden took. And what he's going to do is he's legalizing weed. <laughs> just kidding. He's just going to pardon some people who have been imprisoned for basically minor marijuana possession charges. He's letting some people out of jail. And people are getting excited about that because he also directed the Justice Department to reconsider how the government schedules marijuana. Because currently it's like the highest scheduled drug. It's like, it's on the same level of like badness as, you know, LSD, cocaine, all that crap. So this is an encouraging sign for weed stocks because legalization will apparently make weed companies more profitable, which it actually will. And it's just bullish for the business overall. However, we got to talk about my reservations about weed stocks like planet 13 number one i think it's a a hyped up phase everybody's been talking about weed stocks omg omg it's the future bro and people have been buying it on the hopes be buying all these stupid stocks on the hope that full legalization comes and you know whatever company they're buying is gonna you know make a lot of money well first of all i don't think the weed industry is very uh very moti I think any company, if marijuana gets fully legalized, any freaking company, any retailer, anybody can go ahead and sell marijuana. So if you're investing in Planet 13, which is almost like a luxury weed stock, they have a couple <coughs> very expensive stores on the West Coast. If you're an average person that wants to get high, Sync has connected to your phone. Excuse me, I knew that would happen. If you're the average person that wants to get high, Go to freaking Walmart, okay? I'm sure Walmart at some point is going to be selling freaking weed right next to the beer section. <laughs> and you can probably get it a lot cheaper than you can going to some stupid expensive store in the middle of, uh, you know, Vegas or wherever it is. All right. What is my other reservations about weed stocks? Well, it hasn't been legalized. And from a tax perspective, and you can go look in their financial statements. I want you to do this. Go to their financial statements and compare their gross profit to their tax expense. And you'll see, at least the last quarter that I checked, it was exactly 21% tax paid on the gross profit. Why is that? Well, because weed is still illegal federally, you cannot deduct anything on your tax return except the cost of goods sold. I found this out because we had a, well, I won't even go into it, but basically you can only deduct a certain amount of expenses, the cost of goods sold. You can't deduct other things that are not allocated to cost of goods sold, like salaries, wages, selling general administrative expenses, blah, 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 blah. So what happens is if you have lower deductions, you have a higher taxable income, and that results in a higher tax expense, which hurts your bottom line massively, okay? Because if a lot of your expenses <clears throat> aren't in cost of goods sold, which are on the top of the income statement, if you have a ton of expenses below that and you can't deduct any of those, that's freaking brutal. So until weed gets legalized, all these companies that are subject to U.S. taxation are going to be paying a massive, massive amounts of taxes, and they are going to struggle to be unprofitable. Now, I looked at the financials of Planet 13, and I'm honestly not impressed, okay? The balance sheet, let's start with the balance sheet. Well, the balance sheet isn't bad. They're pretty well capitalized. They have a lot of cash, you know, you know especially relative to their current liabilities. From an asset liability perspective, they're doing great. However, going down and looking at the equity section, number one, we have a history of accumulated losses. The company has been unprofitable since the beginning of time. Why? Probably because of that freaking tax expense, okay? And on top of that, they've been diluting. 
As a matter of fact, I think that year over year, they did, they issued an additional 30 something, 30 million shares, something like that. They had a massive issuance and it looks like they had an acquisition because I could see the, uh, the goodwill on the balance sheet went from zero to like, you know, 30 something million. <laughs> okay, so on the balance sheet, that's not great. Now going to the income statement, I looked at the year over year revenue growth. Maybe I'm crazy, but it looks like it went down. It looks like their revenue has declined year over year. This is supposed to be a futuristic growth stock, bro. Why is their revenue declining? That makes absolutely no freaking sense whatsoever. And then on top of that, you go down the income statement and obviously the company has not been profitable, okay? In the last quarter, they had a, an adjustment to a warranty liability, which helped their income statement. But I believe their bottom line was still profitable. They're still unprofitable. They're still losing money on a gap basis. If you go to the statement of cash flows, they have a massive reduction in cash inflows from operating activities, okay? <laughs> I, I, I just look at this company, I'm like, the, the, the revenue growth isn't there. I don't know if it's a temporary thing or not. I can't predict the future. I see massive competition and I see a bunch of BS politics being played right before the midterms. And I'm not 100% set and, you know, believing that weed is going to be fully federally legalized anytime soon. I literally think the president just did that for the freaking midterms. It's, it's, it's a bunch of political BS. Oh, I'm just going to free a couple prisoners and, uh, you know, tell the Justice Department to start doing something. And uh, that'll get me more votes for the, you know, the, the House and the Senate, whatever. <laughs> it's all political BS. It's just like when he uh, forgave student loans, even though it would probably be challenging court. Because all you freaking idiots, uh, my loans are gone and Biden saved me. Even though it's probably going to be struck down. Watch. <laughs> it's a bunch of political garbage. So, uh, you know, I, I get why the stocks, all these stocks went up 40% whatever freaking percent they will they, they did but they've been absolutely wrecked and for good reason and until i see legalization i'm not even touching that freaking industry okay i'm not taking the risk of the federal government backing down from legalization and continuing to see loss after loss after loss because the corporation has to pay an exorbitant amount of taxes because they can only deduct certain things on their uh, income statement and if i'm wrong about that somebody please let me know but I remember doing a tax return and there were only certain things that could be deducted. I can tell you that, okay? So I'm sure Jeremy will make a video about it. This means so much! <laughs> because I guess a couple thousand prisoners are going to be pardoned and Biden sent a memo to the Justice Department. But I'm holding my breath. And then at the end of the day, I mean, there's, the competition in this realm is insane. There's like 100 trillion weed companies and 100 trillion more potential weed companies. And I can tell you, if I ever, you know, smoke some reefer, which I never have in my entire life, I really haven't. Some people don't believe me. Oh, you never smoke. You're lying. You smoke weed. No, I've never smoked weed. I've been in the high school. I was scared of it. In college, I was in the army and I'm still in the freaking army. So at some point, if it becomes fully legal, and I, you know, for some reason, I'm allowed to smoke it in the military or at my, my job or whatever. <laughs> I can tell you that I'm going to buy it at freaking Walmart, okay? I'm not going to go to Planet 13 and pay like double the price. So some freaking soy boy liberal with pink hair. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm liberal, yeah. You want to buy my weed? Ha, 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 ha. It charge me double the price, okay? <laughs> All right, that's it. Cheers.